Ah, oh, looks like our boss is here. Spirits. I hate my work so much sometimes. Don't say that too loudly. The boss is literally outside. You shouldn't keep him waiting, you know. You're right. I'm coming. You better be. Please come in. What took you so long, lad? A toddler should be a lot perkier than... Oh, hello, Captain. Istvan probably knows which way the uh, the captain swings, so <laughs> that's why he's so suspicious. Good day, sir. I was just leaving. Doctor, thank you for your visit, Captain. You were extremely helpful. <laughs> yeah, that candle wax doesn't apply itself. Well, Galen, looks like you succeeded, where even Constance failed. If I hadn't done an al already done a background check, I would think you were a spy. I never mix business with pleasure, sir. Is that so? You're nothing like Constance, then. But enough dilly-dallying. You wanted to test my eyes. Are we going to get to know the results of how that went? Yes. Well, what's the diagnosis? Your eyes are fine. I haven't found any signs of deterioration. For a man your age, your sight is almost perfect. Don't say things like that, Caelan. <laughs> He's your boss. You say that he doesn't look a year or a day over 29. And you stick with that. Isn't that just peachy? Too bad I can't see. Don't try and mask your incompetent with empty niceties. I gave you my medical opinion and I stand by it. Your problems with stargazing clearly aren't caused by your physical condition. What else then? I double and triple checked the telescope and there's nothing wrong with any of the lenses. Do you know that for sure? Magic? Let's face it, Doctor. If we rule out my eyes and malfunctioning equipment, there's only one explanation left. You have to be less cryptic than that if you're expecting an answer. Don't play games with me, kid. It's that damn dome and you know it. I read your file. I know you were thoroughly trained in the crafts. You didn't come here to practice medicine and help the ailing. You were sent here by the little community my ancestors hired to keep the, to build this city on top of the hot springs. Don't need to be coy. I'm certain you know precisely how to solve my problem. If you're so familiar with the ways of my people, you must also realise that I cannot disclose professional secrets. I don't think he cares. <laughs> I, I hate to break it to you. Oh, but you can. And you will! As long as you're a resident of the city, you're bound by compact. Which puts me under no obligation to reveal anything to you. Should I quote the main points of our agreement, sir? <laughs> Nothing is set in stone. Excuse me? Didn't you know compacts can be amended by the bank with or without uh, the other party's consent? This is the sort of shit you, uh, I was sort of expecting. Even you can't afford to make an enemy of my people. It wouldn't be prudent. <laughs> Don't threaten him. Now, now, no need to threaten me. I trust we can come to a mutually beneficial agreement just as our ancestors did. However, I advise you to be mindful of the fact that there's a deadly snowstorm raging outside these walls. Am I making myself clear? Crystal. Very well. As you probably know, the dome is impervious to light. The night sky we see above our heads is a projection put there by magicians for God knows what reason. They deemed it necessary for the inhabitants' well-being. If you're keeping people in a barrel, you might as well paint a pretty picture on the lid. That's quite cool, actually. That they bothered doing that. That is such an incredible amount of details. <laughs> Imagine a builder nowadays trying to do that. Yeah, can you just create a magical sky above us? Oh, mate, for like 50 quid. DLC. <laughs> yeah, it's just EA making the sky. <laughs> for DLC, uh, $50 will put anything you like, but it will be poorly implemented. Well said, but back to business. I ordered my astronomical equipment from your tribe and Yanni's people. That includes my telescope, which can somehow penetrate the dome and reach the starlight above. An advanced piece of craft and mechanic art. And now completely useless. Would you care to explain this to a layman? The city systems operate on cycles set by the waters which drive them. The night and day cycle simulated by the artificial lighting is one manifestation of that. The dome resonates in the same patterns. However, someone is disrupting them. My guess would be that when the saboteurs started their business, the systems managed to reset it first, but after a certain threshold was reached... Yes, yes, spare me the details. What does any of this have to do with my telescope? Everything. Seeing is based off light, which can be described as a wave, so our optician... Doctor. In order to work properly, the telescope has to be synchronized with the city cycles, but it can't be because it's constantly changing. There you go. Easy. It will have to be adjusted. Splendid. Take care of it now. Let's go to my study. Wait! 
I can give you something that should help, a temporary solution. But if the saboteur is to stop, the cycles will keep fluctuating. Yanni is taking care of that, so don't try to play the hero. What can you offer me? A crystal synchronized with the current cycle that you can install in the telescope, but I need some time to prepare it. He's not going to like that. <laughs> Please say, like, no more than a few hours. How long? No more than 15 minutes. Whew. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I was worried it'd be a lot longer. Kick back and relax. I'll fetch you some brandy. Don't be so ridiculous. If you expect me to fraternize with my servants, you truly are a child. Prepare the crystal and deliver it to my quarters as soon as possible. Good day to you too. I don't know what sort of a reaction he was expecting. Dick. Duh! Oh, he's gonna hear you. You reek of lies. Yanni's investigation is just smoke and mirrors, but you don't really care about that, do you? We may all be dead by solstice, yet if the only thing this bastard cares about is his damn spyglass. Her investigation is smoke and mirrors? Is she not what she says she is? Man, the mystery's all over the place. Oh, I'll fix it for you. I'll fix it good. Now, I'm no Poirot. But I'm almost certain that was a passive-aggressive threat that he wasn't going to fix it at all. <laughs> Great. First a dead body, then your cone and her innocent mystery. As if I didn't have enough pro- Oh, curiosity, sorry. As if I didn't have enough problems already. Hmm, what's that? Someone stuck an envelope in my doorframe. Galen? We must have missed each other. That's odd. I have uncovered something unbelievable. Let's meet in the warehouse below the bathhouse this afternoon. This doesn't leave me much time. I have to conduct tests now if I want to question Sem before he finds out about the bite marks from someone else. Let's start with the bathhouse waters. If they really have healing powers, the composition should deviate from ordinary water. Hmm, let's see. Standard mineral residue, ions characteristic to this city. These come from the same deep waters that the system's going. But these have an unusual reaction to heat, which isn't explained by the composition. What are they, sediment traces to organic matter? But these aren't that common. There's no way to determine how this affects a living organism without medical expertise, but I'd rather not get Galen involved. But I can drink this distillate to find out. People are bathing in it, so it shouldn't be outright toxic. Oh god, this is magic. Magic can manifest in whatever way it wants. <laughs> like, fun fact for you, Yanni. Let's just try a small dose. Oh god, we're gonna get ill. Fine, I do observe an effect sooner than I expect it to. Shit. It's great. I finally found it, and it's so beautiful and pure. Come with me, yeah, and you'll get all the riches you want, all the knowledge and glory. I don't want the glory either. Marvellous. <laughs> How did you manage to get up from Galen's post-mortem? Can dead people even get rich? Don't worry, Yan. I'll stay close to you watching. Have you started seeking Kalai yet? No matter. I'll help you. I'll guide you along the way. You made me stay. But I... Hey, where are you? Wait. I think I can safely conclude that this water causes hallucinations unless I was actually speaking to a dead person. You weren't. And let's hope that Caitlin isn't around. It isn't unpleasant. I feel focused and relaxed. I can see why people here bathe so regularly. This was a distillate ingested by a newcomer. I'd imagine one builds tolerance over time, seeing as the city isn't filled with raving lunatics. Did you not hear what they said at the beginning? Everyone is a lunatic. At least none of the hallucinating kind. I admit I almost envy Constance. The effect certainly does explain how she manages to stay so calm and composed. However, I didn't notice any side effects on her. Yeah. <laughs> you think they'd notice every time you walk into the bathhouse if that happened with everyone, wouldn't you? Look. Look, Yanni, I'll be with you in a second. I'm speaking to Mike Tyson, you know. Uh, so I guess the distilled dose I got exceeded some threshold. Not much of a finding, but there it is. Or that's how you go crazy. And we're already going crazy. Hmm. I wonder if when Lev said I, he was talking about himself? And he was just talking to himself through the water. Or does it change per person? Eh, hard to say. Again, like, there's too much to know. Not much for finding, but there it is. But there's no time to dwell on that. I need to find Sam and speak to him before I can f see what Galen came up with. Ain't this a busy day? A busy day? 
You just spoke to Lev. You worryingly calm about it. Hello, Sam. Are you awake? I'm not asleep. You woke me up. To what do I owe the pleasure? You got up very quickly. <laughs> well, say he's going to be pissed off at us because we rejected his um advances. I'm here because of Lev. Again, what does he have to do with me? Why did your dogs attack Lev? Because of the solstice, or was it something else entirely? What? I saw the bite marks. You even said they've been acting strange lately. So was he that night. He was clumsy and slurred his words like he was drunk. He crossed the line and some of them felt threatened. Look, if the dogs really wanted to harm Lev, he wouldn't have survived that night. You could have fucking told me this before, and the fact that you withheld this information is really suspicious. <laughs> And you tried to fucking kill Yakone that one time. Uh, he didn't. You know what I mean, he got a serious warning. He didn't even bleed that much. Do you think that's what killed him? No, I'm glad to say I don't. You don't have to worry. You're not taking care of a pack of killer wolves. Thank you, glad to know I'm off the hook. Maybe now everyone will leave me alone. You really don't like attention, do you? Oh, you figured, do you, Yanni? Yanni, IQ of 150. Well, not all the attention was unwanted. But to have an entire city suspect and watch my every move? That's not something I can get used to. You'll have to grin and bear it for a while, I'm afraid. The dog bites might be harmless, but that doesn't prove you innocent yet. It doesn't? You're still the last person to have seen him alive, and you have no problem admitting you left him in a bad condition. It was all I could do to keep the dogs at bay. There's a reason they barely scratched him. But there's no one to confirm that. Certainly Yakone wouldn't vouch for you after you attacked her. Who's to say Lev didn't say something to set you off and hadn't her reflexes? I've heard enough rumours about you to make me wonder, what exactly did you do to earn such a reputation? <laughs> I don't know, maybe don't go into the, the, the lion's den, so to speak, the wolf's lair, and ask him this sort of shit. Christ, I really don't want to talk about it. I understand, but you are the prime suspect here. I'm trying to help you, but I need to know everything. Then ask Istvar and let him tell you how they set a trap for me, how he ordered my friend's wife tortured and killed. I can see how that would make you bitter. Ask him what his reasons were, why I was such a threat to him. I'd like to know that myself. Sam, I'm so sorry. You're not. It's, it's not your fault, it's mine. I screwed up and my family answered for it. That's what the whispers were about. I'm a dangerous person to keep around. I don't think you are. Yanni, I'm serious. Messing with the families or their enemies will get you killed. That sounded almost like a threat. It's advice. I consider you a friend and I've seen people disappear because of their prying. Like the previous technician? Do you know what happened to him? <laughs> Let me guess. He wound up somewhere dead? It's not just San, but yes, you're following in his footsteps. He said his awkward goodbyes, we saw his caravan leave the next morning. Nobody was the wiser until Isfran's guards began a casual search last week. Do you want to end up like him? How else will I found out what's going on? You don't. That's what he's trying to say. Uh, just point at someone, anyone at the trial, then lay low and wait for the culprit to make a mistake. Trust me, this is the only way. I appreciate the advice, I really do, but so far this person has made no mistakes and I'm afraid we don't have much time. Is the game trying to get me to blame Sem? <laughs> it fucking is, isn't it? There's something San would have said too. So we have to point... So we're not going to find out who it was. Hmm. Ooh, new place. That is very pretty. I am a fan of this water tank. It's so pretty. This is curious. Galen, do you have any idea how long it took me to find the entrance to this place? What grave mysteries have you uncovered that require meeting in such secrecy? What now? I didn't want to show you anything, lady. You, on the other hand. Wait a moment. Please tell me you didn't receive a note telling you to meet me here. I didn't. Why would someone pull such a silly prank? Oh, God. Okay. Now's the time to fucking run. You two have been sent a mysterious letter... Bear that in mind, a mysterious letter that someone knows you were going to be separate at that time and you're underground away from everyone. Run the fuck away! Ugh. And there goes the door. Let's not jump to conclusions. It might have just been a drought. Or a deadly trap. Face it, Yanni. Someone lured us here and we bought it into it like children. That we did. Let's have a look around then. This isn't an ordinary warehouse, that's for sure. 
Isn't that mean-looking gizmo part of your failing system? Need I remind you that your people contributed to this system too, if only slightly. But yes, it is a dashboard. I mean... I guess it looks alright. Great, so use it to open the door for us. Unfortunately, this particular entry point is for monitoring purposes only. Oh, for God's sake! They're all for monitoring purposes! I swear there's not a single decent, well-working thing in the system. So you can't do anything? Figures. Now, now, stop being that way, Galen. You're not gonna get anywhere. I can, however, tell you that the door mechanism, like most things in this city, works in 24-hour cycles. It should open at midnight for a brief period. <laughs> So we have time to spare. The note I received is written on Istvan's official stationery. How about yours? Mine as well, but I don't think Istvan would be stupid enough to leave his signature for us. Unless that's what he wanted us to think. Or someone's trying to frame him. It could be like 300 million different things. Or he really is an idiot and underestimates our joint powers of deduction. Probably not. I don't think an idiot would be able to make the door open and close off schedule. Yeah, there is that. What we need to do, by the way, we need to look through this, because there are some people who this really interests. So, hang on. I'm just going to quickly go through all of this, and anyone who wants to pause the video in between and read all of this stuff... Uh, we already did this far. Uh, feel free to. Oh, wow, we know nothing about him. N even worse about her. Whole bunch of shit about him. Fair bit. I assume the blue stuff is the stuff we've only just learnt about. And Yuko. Okay. There you go. That was for people who wanted to read that, because uh, last part someone asked, why don't I go through that? Um, I don't generally read journals whilst I'm on uh, playthrough, but if you wanted to, there you go. And we already have another clue pointing at our lovely boss. Lev's journal. Well, it's all moot either way if, if we won't get out of here. Try to guess the password. <sighs> There's no chance. Ask Yanni for help. We need to get this door open. Will you help me? I was going to say, <laughs> she has a knowledge of this. If anyone can get something booted weirdly, now will be the time. Of course, what exactly are you proposing? I need you to relax, close your eyes and focus on... I'm not sure I feel comfortable with this. He's gay. He's... It, it's not going to happen. <laughs> You're fine. I don't know what you imagine, but the goal here is not for you to feel comfortable, Yanni. I distrust magic, but fine, I'll follow your lead on this one. I'm not closing my eyes, though. Your distrust will decrease our chances, you know, but let's try anyhow. This is awkward, I don't feel that- Wow, did it- did it work? Nope, still closed, but now I know why you dumped your first boyfriend. <laughs> Was that just a mind-reading trick? Damn you. You read my mind? Not intentionally, this sort of thing happens sometimes. You can't control it, which I guess could be said about the boy as well. Galen, we're trapped. Do you want to just focus on the problem at hand and not dick about? How dare you? It's fine. Frankly, I'd dump him too. Regardless, my little trick didn't work. Have any better ideas? Maybe I would stop if you'd stop this nonsense for just a second. I think we should accept the fact that we're stuck in here until this thing opens as planned. But this means whoever trapped us will be free to do whatever they please while we're here. I don't like this at all. That's why they trapped us here. We also now have no way of knowing, right? Like, we can't do any more investigation. We're now trapped under here. And then as soon as we get up, we have to accuse someone. We might even be late for accusing someone. My teachers always said that I should look for a silver lining in any difficult situation. We could use this time to open our hearts and become real friends. <clears throat> Not the time for that, unfortunately. I wouldn't want to hurt your feelings, but... Why not get straight to hugs? I, I'm not sure whether that's sarcastic. Hmm. I'll choose that my answer next part. There we go. That's a much better solution. See you next time.